The Mula Periyar Dam, nestled at the confluence of Kerala and Tamil Nadu, is a marvel of engineering with a tumultuous history. Constructed in 1895 during the British colonial era, this dam was originally designed to divert water eastwards to the arid regions of Tamil Nadu, facilitating agriculture and supporting local economies. Its significance extends beyond mere irrigation. It's a symbol of colonial legacy and interstate cooperation. However, the dam today is embroiled in a complex dispute that threatens its very existence and safety. The crux of the issue lies in the dam's aging structure and the increasing demands placed on its resources. The conflicting interests of Kerala and Tamil Nadu have turned this engineering feat into a focal point of regional tension, with both states asserting rights over its use and management. The importance of the Mulaparyar Dam extends beyond its physical structure. It is a critical water source for Tamil Nadu, while Kerala, the state in which it is located, fears potential catastrophic failure due to its aging infrastructure. This dichotomy sets the stage for a narrative filled with legal wrangles, political maneuvering, and socio-economic ramifications, making it a subject of national concern. The primary contention between Kerala and Tamil Nadu revolves around the control and safety of the Mulaparyar Dam. Tamil Nadu, relying heavily on the water from Mulaparyar for irrigation and drinking purposes, advocates for maintaining the dam's current operational levels. Kerala, on the other hand, points to the dam's century-old structure as a safety hazard, exacerbated by recent seismic activity in the region, advocating for a reduction in the water level to ensure structural integrity. The safety concerns are not unfounded. Studies suggest that the dam, built with 19th century technology, is seismically vulnerable. Despite these concerns, Tamil Nadu opposes constructing a new dam or lowering the water levels, arguing that such actions would jeopardize their water security. This standoff reflects a broader issue of water rights in a country where water scarcity is becoming increasingly acute. Further complicating the matter is the annual monsoon season, which brings heavy rains and fills the dam to capacity, heightening the risk of overflow and structural failure. The seasonal dynamics make the dispute not only a matter of civil engineering, but also of effective water management, requiring a delicate balance between conservation, safety, and utility. Over the years, the Mulaparyar Dam issue has seen numerous legal confrontations. Both Kerala and Tamil Nadu have approached the Supreme Court of India to assert their rights and express their concerns. The Apex Court has had to balance the technical aspects of dam safety with the legal and humanitarian implications of its decisions, making this a landmark case in interstate relations in India. The Supreme Court, in its various rulings, has tried to mediate by setting safety standards and water levels, attempting to satisfy both states. However, these decisions are often met with resistance from one state or the other, reflecting the deep-seated mistrust and competitive politics between the two. This ongoing legal battle underscores the complexities of federalism in India, where state rights often clash with national priorities. Moreover, the judiciary's role has extended beyond mere conflict resolution. It has also been involved in overseeing the implementation of safety measures and the technological upgrading of the dam. This proactive judicial approach aims to prevent a potential disaster, highlighting the role of courts in managing and mitigating state conflicts over essential resources like water. The central government of India plays a crucial role in the Mula Periyar Dam dispute, acting as a mediator between the conflicting interests of Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Its involvement is critical in formulating policies that balance the water needs and safety concerns of both states. The union government also oversees national disaster management protocols, which are pivotal in the context of the dam's potential risk factors. Historically, the central government has initiated various committees and expert panels to assess the structural integrity of the dam and recommend appropriate actions. These interventions are aimed at ensuring that the dam operates safely while meeting the water requirements essential for Tamil Nadu's agriculture and drinking needs. However, the effectiveness of these measures is often questioned by both states, leading to continued strife and demands for more direct intervention. The challenge for the central government lies in its dual role as both a regulator and facilitator. It must enforce national safety standards while also fostering cooperation between the states. 
This dual responsibility requires a delicate balance of political tact and technical expertise, highlighting the complex nature of interstate water disputes in a federal structure like India's. The environmental implications of the Mulaperiyar Dam are profound and multifaceted. Firstly, the dam's location in a seismically active area raises concerns about its vulnerability to earthquakes, which could have catastrophic environmental consequences. Additionally, the aging infrastructure of the dam poses risks of malfunction or collapse, which could lead to flooding and significant ecological damage. The ecological dynamics of the region are also affected by the dam's operation. The alteration of water flow patterns has impacted local flora and fauna, disrupting habitats and biodiversity. Environmentalists argue that the long-term ecological balance of the region is at stake, with potential impacts on forest ecosystems, wildlife, and riverine health. This aspect of the dispute underscores the need for sustainable water management practices that consider ecological preservation. Moreover, the debate over the dam also includes the impact of climate change, which is altering precipitation patterns and water availability. These changes complicate the management of water resources, necessitating adaptive strategies that can address both current disputes and future uncertainties. The environmental concerns surrounding the Mulaperiyar Dam thus reflect broader issues of sustainable development and environmental stewardship in the face of human intervention and climate variability. The human impact of the Mulaperiyar Dam dispute extends deeply into the local communities of both Kerala and Tamil Nadu. For many in Tamil Nadu, the dam is a lifeline that supports agriculture, which in turn sustains local economies and food security. The water from Mulaperiyar enables the cultivation of rice, sugarcane and various other crops, feeding millions and supporting agrarian livelihoods. In Kerala, the communities living in the shadow of the dam live with the fear of a potential disaster. The anxiety of a dam breach affects daily life, influencing everything from property values to long-term planning. Moreover, local protests often reflect the community's desperation and demand for immediate government action to ensure their safety, illustrating the direct human costs of the ongoing dispute. Both states' populations are thus stakeholders in the outcomes of the dispute, each with legitimate concerns and rights. The challenge lies in crafting solutions that safeguard the interests of these communities while addressing the broader issues at play. This human element underscores the need for empathetic and inclusive approaches to resolving the Mulaperiyar Dam dispute, ensuring that all voices are heard and considered. Experts from various fields have weighed in on the Mulaperiyar Dam dispute, offering insights that span engineering, environmental science, and political analysis. Engineers focus on the dam's structural integrity, suggesting modernization and constant monitoring as essential steps to ensure safety. They argue for the implementation of advanced technology to better predict and manage potential risks associated with the dam's aging infrastructure. Environmental scientists highlight the ecological risks associated with the dam, particularly in terms of water management and its impact on local biodiversity. They advocate for a comprehensive environmental impact assessment to guide any decisions regarding the dam's future. This approach would help in understanding the broader ecological consequences of various water management strategies and structural modifications. Political analysts, on the other hand, examine the dispute through the lens of interstate relations and federal governance. They suggest that the resolution of the Mulaperiyar issue could set a precedent for handling similar disputes in India. Their analysis often points to the need for stronger regulatory frameworks and cooperative mechanisms between states to manage shared resources effectively and equitably. Section 8. Future Scenarios, Potential Outcomes, and Preparations The future of the Mulaperiyar Dam is shrouded in uncertainty, with several potential scenarios unfolding based on the actions taken today. One scenario is the strengthening and upgrading of the dam, which would require significant investment but could ensure its safe operation for years to come. This solution would appease Tamil Nadu's water needs while addressing Kerala's safety concerns, but it requires political will and financial resources. Alternatively, the construction of a new dam has been proposed. This would potentially offer a long-term solution to both safety and water distribution issues. However, this scenario is fraught with political and logistical challenges, including displacement of communities and environmental considerations. 
The decision to build a new dam would also need to navigate the complex judicial and bureaucratic landscape of India. A less discussed but equally important scenario involves the development of comprehensive water management strategies that transcend state boundaries. This approach would focus on sustainable usage, equitable distribution, and cooperative management practices, potentially reducing dependency on a single structure like Mulaperiyar and promoting regional water security. Section 9. Geopolitical Implications, Regional Stability at Stake The Mulaperiyar Dam dispute is not just a local issue but one with significant geopolitical implications. The tension between Kerala and Tamil Nadu can be seen as a microcosm of the larger challenges facing India's federal structure where regional interests often clash with national priorities. The resolution of this dispute could therefore influence broader patterns of interstate cooperation and conflict resolution in India. Moreover, the dam's location at a strategic geographic and political juncture adds layers to its significance. It affects not only the immediate states involved, but also has ripple effects across southern India. The outcome of this dispute could set precedents for how water resources are managed across state lines, influencing policies and politics far beyond the immediate region. The stability of the region, therefore, hinges on the effective resolution of the dam dispute. It requires a nuanced understanding of the political, environmental, and social dimensions involved. The way forward is fraught with challenges, but also presents opportunities for innovation in governance and resource management potentially transforming a regional dispute into a model for cooperation. Section 10. Public Opinion and Media Influence Public opinion on the Mulaperiyar Dam dispute is sharply divided, reflecting the complex socio-political landscape of Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Media outlets in both states play a significant role in shaping these opinions, often reflecting the prevailing sentiments of their respective audiences. This media coverage can sometimes exacerbate tensions by emphasizing regional disparities and grievances, complicating efforts towards a rational and balanced resolution. In Tamil Nadu, the media often portrays the issue as one of existential threat, highlighting the critical dependence of its agrarian and urban populations on the dam's water. In contrast, Kerala's media focuses on the potential catastrophic risks to life and property due to the dam's perceived structural inadequacies. This polarized media landscape makes it difficult for the public to access unbiased information, influencing public discourse and policy decisions. The role of social media also cannot be underestimated. It has become a powerful tool for mobilizing support and spreading information quickly. While it can contribute to greater awareness and engagement with the issue, it can also spread misinformation and heighten fears. The influence of both traditional and new media in shaping public opinion is pivotal and must be navigated carefully by all stakeholders involved in the dispute. Section 11. Conclusion. Navigating the Troubled Waters. The Mulaperiyar Dam dispute encapsulates the challenges of managing aging infrastructure in a changing environmental and political landscape. It highlights the complexities of water management in a federal system where regional interests and national safety standards must be balanced. The dispute between Kerala and Tamil Nadu over the dam is more than just a legal battle. It is a test of political will, interstate cooperation, and public engagement. Moving forward, it is imperative that all parties involved approach the issue with a spirit of compromise and collaboration. The central government's role as a mediator is crucial but so is the participation of local communities and stakeholders. Technological innovations and a commitment to sustainable practices can pave the way for a resolution that secures both water security and safety. Ultimately, the resolution of the Mullah Pariyar Dam dispute requires a multi-dimensional approach that considers legal, technical, environmental, and human factors. It is a complex puzzle that demands not only immediate attention, but also long-term strategic thinking. How this issue is resolved will not only affect the immediate stakeholders, but also set a precedent for how India handles its water disputes in the future, making it a critical issue of national importance.